Mm. Oh, good morning, Lord. Mm. I thank you, Father, for another undeserved day. I thank you for this day and all the days that I've had. And any other days that you've allotted me. I thank you, Father, for bringing me this far along the way. Today is the day, Father. I ask that you be with me. Fly with me. Just be with me, Lord. I thank you, Father. It's in your son Jesus' name I pray. Amen. <laughs>
it was tough sledding on the sleeping. Plus, I got a teenage daughter in my house who's getting ready to go to college, so she was roaming around, <laughs> roaming around at all hours of the night, uh, the teenage years. So, but anyway, I do feel good. Um, I'm going through the I'm safe checklist. Um, I for illness, M for any medicine. I haven't taken any. I don't have any illnesses. Uh, say S for sleep. Uh, didn't get a lot, but I got about four or five hours, so I should be good. A for alcohol. I didn't do any of that. That's the last thing I needed. Um, <laughs> and F for, you know, fatigue. And, um, and uh, of course, E for emotion or eating. So, ate a nice breakfast. I feel nervous, but I feel good. And so, I'm safe. So, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, get to the airport and try to make this happen. Weather is still a little iffy, but you know we'll see how it all plays out. Um, like I said, nine o'clock seems to be that window. So I gotta call the DPE at uh, seven and uh, see what he says. I will say that I have set personal minimums and one of my personal minimums is visibility and I like to have at least seven miles of viz. Um, so anything under that, eh, I may make some ADM or aeronautical decision making to, <sighs> dare I say it, cancel another check ride. <laughs> so, but I'd rather be safe than sorry. Lived another day to take the check ride and be successful, so. Anyway, all right, let's get to the airport. I'm here at the airport. See the beacon? The beacon turning over there. I can get it again. All right, so, oh, and I realized I made a mistake. <laughs> Maybe I said sleep for S and I'm safe. Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. But actually the S is stress. So, um, so I'm safe, illness, medication, stress, alcohol, fatigue, emotions, or eating. Uh, so that's the checklist. But yeah, see the beacon? White and green. So it's up there. And that's because it's still considered to be night. So yeah, anyway, I'm here. Let's see what happens. It's gonna be an interesting day. All right, so <laughs> I don't even know if you can see me, but so I'm here at the airport. It is check ride day. And um, whew, so many emotions going through my body and spirit right now. Um, but I got to tell you, um, I feel good. I am nervous as all get out. I'm not going to lie to you. But I got to tell you, I definitely feel the prayers. I definitely have felt the support over the many, 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 many months that brought me to this day. Now, this day has its own challenges anyway, just because I have to fly from Wingsfield to Lancaster by myself, meet the DPE, do the check ride, and then come back by myself. Um, but the more important thing is the weather is a little iffy as you can see that i showed you around 4 15 this morning or so um the ceilings are a little low and i can actually see the clouds um a little bit so i'm gonna have to wait and so the plan is to call the dp at seven this morning and see what he says if i can get at least seven miles of this then i'll you know go on ahead and going out there and try to make this happen but the other thing is i gotta get back because this afternoon around two they're calling for thunderstorms and again i'll be flying by myself so this is where it gets into that aeronautical decision making where as pilot in command you have to make decisions about you know being safe because it's all on you so but anyway here we are good people check ride day so Hopefully the next thing that you see is me in the cockpit praying before 
I take off. All right, Russ can fly. Let's get it. Okay, so I'm actually in the FBO and um, um, and I was just talking to my CFI. He's actually flying out this morning, so um, that's why I have to fly to Lancaster by myself if I pull this off. Um, but at any rate, the DPE just called me, um, asked me what I was seeing, and I basically said it's marginal VFR, uh, something I'm not going to fly in at all. Um, and you know, that would be a decision. That's an easy call and marginal VFR. Um, you're talking about visibilities of like maybe two, three miles. Yeah, no can do that is way below my personal minimums and given my experience level. Nope, not going to happen. So he agreed. So first the thought was maybe push it back to Thursday afternoon, but he's actually, you know, trying to figure this out. So the game plan for now is to, we'll talk it in another hour um, and see what it looks like. So fingers crossed. Um, <laughs> oh, what a crazy life, you know, to all the pilots out there, hats off. Um, what, what a crazy, crazy situation. So much out of your control and you just had to go with the flow. Um, but you definitely had to make good aeronautical decisions. All right. So see you in about an hour, either it'll be okay. I'm on my way to Lancaster or I'm on my way home <laughs> defeated once again. <laughs> All right. Stay tuned. Okay, so, <laughs> man, this has been a crazy day. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let me see, what time is it? You have to bear with me because, I mean, there's nothing like a good story. Okay, so it is 1.11. So as you can remember, I got up, it was four o'clock in the morning. It is now 11 after one. And I don't know if you remember this thing, um, but yes, I am at Lancaster. And yes, I was supposed to fly here and do my check ride. And I did part of my check ride. So, all right, so I'll make this quick because I don't want this video to be too long. Um, so you can give me the half congratulations. Um, but before I get there, okay, so here's what would happen. So, at about 8.30, um, the DPA called me for the third time. We had checked the weather to kind of see like what the ceilings were. Um, the ceilings were still too low. It was um, 1,800 feet before the um, broken layer, which considered the ceiling when you have clouds. Um, I had to fly at least 2,000 feet or at least 2,500 to get over here just because of obstacles and terrain and stuff like that. So I could not do that. And so I guess it was going to be one of those situations where, you know, I was going to have to cancel the check ride again. And I'm bumming because like I'm all, you know, it's like, you know, just going crazy with the emotions and stuff. And then the letdown. So the DPE said, well, wait a minute, I'll call you back. We'll see if we can't reschedule. So he was really kind of waiting. Now, as you can see, the sun is out. Of course, it's gorgeous now, but you know, my time to do my check ride is over. Well, can do your oral. If you pass your oral, you'll be done with that. And the only thing you'll have left to do is do your flying portion. At first, I was a little like, nah, I don't know about that because my concern was that when you do them together, he would have too much time to have more time to ask more questions on the oral and it would be tougher. And so that wasn't a problem because my CFI and, you know, had me prepared and the training and the questions that he asked me, I was beyond prepared. So that wasn't an issue at all. And I want to thank my CFI for really being on top of me about like being precise about the types of questions and the way I studied and making sure I really knew that stuff and like going over the materials over and over again. Okay. So, but at any rate, so I was worried about, you know, the, 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 
the check ride oral being that much more intense but when it ended up happening is it actually ended up going good and i passed my oral the, the longest sort of it is i don't have to worry about my oral exam ever again for my private pilot check ride that part is done now i just have to come out here and do my flying portion and i will get my pilot's license man i am just like beyond beyond relieved um i wish it was everything i will say that it is a little windy so i'm glad i'm not doing it today because it could be a little challenging um but i gotta tell you you know i am just so thrilled with how this day turned out and i just feel this sense of relief so i'm gonna go in here and get some lunch um and um just yeah um i'm halfway home people uh, we're almost there and i really have all of you to thank so before i sign off and uh, i go in here and get something to eat really i just want to thank um so, i mean i'm not gonna thank individuals because there's just too many to thank but i definitely want to thank my room 11 peeps from enon tabernacle baptist church for praying for a brother always having my back finding the spiritual component you know of this undertaking because that is very important to me uh, because it's a big part of who i am um, i am a believer i'm a follower and everything i do i want to give god glory for all of the opportunities he's provided for me all these years to get me to this point so all the brothers at room 11 um, who have prayed for me who have you know sent me notes for congratulations and all that kind of stuff in terms of each phase of my training i really thank you for that definitely want to thank the brothers um, and sisters from the Roscoe Draper chapter of the Black Pilots of America. Definitely want to thank, thank my uh, frat brothers of Phi Beta Sigma fraternity. Uh, definitely want to thank the survivor community who's been, uh, you know, just amazingly, amazingly supportive. Um, and of course, I don't want to, you know, and it's not last but not least and all that kind of stuff, but of course, I thank my wife and my daughter for all of the support and the friends and the families and all that kind of stuff. So. The bottom line is, I'm halfway there. Russ really can fly, and I'm halfway there to my pilot's license. And I know I'm rambling, but I am like equal parts exhausted and excited and crazy. So yes, the next part of the check ride has been scheduled. No, I will not be disclosing when that date is, but stick with me there's still a lot to do uh, we're almost there don't give up on me now stay with me because i still need your support um and so i know i didn't do a subscriber shout out in this video just because it was just such a crazy day um uh, but i definitely will do one in the next video and um if you have not subscribed to the channel please do so again thank you for all the support i love you guys couldn't have done this without you. All right, Russ Kid, Russ can fly here at uh, Lancaster Airport, halfway to my private pilot license. I'm out. Peace.